Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMammoth.com. In this video we're going to look at a very important situation, constant speed, denoted here by V from velocity. It's sometimes denoted by R as a rate, like constant rate, but I chose to use V as it is in physics and science often. D is distance and T is time. Those are easier, right? D equals V times T is a formula often used. You can use it every time there's a situation involving constant speed, distance and time. This one is velocity equals D over T and I'll give you a trick to remember this one. Now you know how we usually tell the speed of cars, for example. Let's say somebody has a speed, they are driving their car at the speed of 65 miles per hour. But let me put the division line for the per. Per means division. Hour, okay? 65 miles per hour. There's division there. And the 65 miles is the distance and one hour is the time. This is the same as 65 miles and one hour. You see what is here is a distance divided by time. Distance divided by time. And that gives you the velocity, the speed. The speed is always distance divided by time. Okay, so the miles per hour should help you remember. Miles, distance goes up, an hour, the time goes down and you get velocity. And this is another formula that you hopefully can memorize or you can learn to solve it from this one too. Because if, the, if you remember this one, this equation here, then you can multiply here both sides by t. Then it will disappear from here and come here, v times t. Anyway, let's solve some simple problems. Let's say that some animal is speeding with constant speed of 15 meters per minute and they go about doing that for 20 minutes. They travel for 20 minutes. What distance did they travel? Distance is an unknown. I could use this one because it tells me distance is that. Okay? So let me write this equation here. I'll copy it here. And then we will fill in these numbers that we know. Distance equals velocity times time. And now I will substitute. In place of V, I substitute 15. In place of T, I substitute 20 minutes. This is a very simple situation that you can solve without using the formula, I know. But we're practicing this so that we learn how to do these motions when the problems are more difficult. So, in place of V, I write this. 15 meters per minute. In place of t, I write 20 minutes. And that's my d. Now, of course, I just multiply 15 times 20, right? So I get d equals 300. But 300 what? 300 feet? Yards? Kilometers? The answer is actually here, because I have here meters, minutes, and minutes. But the minutes are divided you di we divide by minutes, and the minutes are here. These minutes cancel out, and we are left with the meters. So the animal went a distance of 300 meters. Here is a little bit more complex situation now. Okay, we know that the velocity is 80 kilometers per hour. Maybe it is a car traveling with constant speed. The distance they need to go is 130 kilometers. How long will it take? The time is unknown. How long will it take? Now, neither one of these is written as time equals something. Okay? But it doesn't matter. I can still use this one. I could use this one too, but it's going to be a little bit more complex to manipulate the equation. So I'm going to use this one because I know it's going to be simpler for you to follow. So d equals v times t. And now I will substitute. In place of d, I put 130. And here, if those units, kilometers and kilometers per hour, confuse you, drop them out for, the, for now. Because there's kilometers per hour, kilometers, the answer will be then in hours. Velocity is 80. T, I cannot put anything in place of it, so I just write T. That's my unknown. And now you see you got a very simple equation, didn't you? You know how to solve that, because there's a variable multiplied by something. So obviously you need to divide by 80 both sides of the equation, to get your answer. Let me first flip these sides. A dt 
equals 130. Now divide both sides by 80. And t equals 130 over 80. Now you take your calculator all along division and divide. That is the same as dividing 13 by 8. Okay, I can basically cancel out 10s for that, so I'm going to divide 13 by 8. Long division. And I know it's not going to be even, so I put lots of decimal zeros there to prepare. And then 1 times 8, that's 50, so I get 6 here. And then 20, so I get 2 times 8. 40, now it goes evenly, 5, okay. T equals 1.625 hours. So that's what you tell your driver, right? You'll take 1.625 hours to get there. But you know that normally we don't tell time in that way. We tell it, okay, you'll take one hour and so many minutes to get there. We need to really change this decimal part into minutes. One hour is one hour, that's okay, but this 0 0.625, let's change that into minutes. One hour is 60 minutes, so 0 0.625 times 60 minutes tells me the minutes. 5 times the 0, then I just go to 6 times 5, 30, 6 times 2 is 12, 15, and then 36, 37. That's 1, 2, 3, 3 decimals. 37.5. That's minutes now, remember? So that makes sense. T equals 1 hour and 37 and a half minutes, if the car is able to maintain the constant speed, which of course in reality never happens. But Anyhow, that's the answer.